filmed this tutorial. It is my first of what will be three Halloween tutorials for this year. I really like having Halloween tutorials up, but I really am learning that I don't like to film them. Um, my lens is, lens, is from PinkyParadise.com and I will link them below. Then other things that I want to get out of the way because I do get a lot of questions on the same topics on my Halloween tutorials from last year, which just so you guys know, I'm not going to be able to top last year, so don't expect that. Um, <laughs> Liquid Latex, Party City, Halloween stores online, you can find that stuff there. Um, I will stress over and over and over again, put a trash bag underneath you if you're working over carpet. Liquid latex will ruin carpet. I know that from experience. I ruined carpet with <laughs> liquid latex last year, so lay down a trash bag, seriously, because this stuff can get, it's wet, it's drippy. If you get it on your clothes, on your carpet, it's ruined. There is no way to get it out. So, a fake blood in that can be gotten from a Halloween store. Lay down a trash bag, don't get it on the carpet. And whatever brush you use, the liquid latex will also ruin that brush, so make sure it's something that you can part with. So I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial, and if you want to see how to do this, then keep watching. Okay, so to start out, I got my contacts from PinkyParadise.com, and I will link that website below. These are the yellow cat eye ones. I'm going to be taking toilet paper and liquid latex, and a brush that I don't care about. I got um, cheap elf brushes because this will absolutely ruin your brush. And I'm just going to make lines of liquid latex and I kind of marked where I want my ripped skin to be. I'm just going to make lines of liquid latex and then layer pieces of toilet paper over them. And I'm going to do liquid latex and toilet paper and more liquid latex and a little bit more toilet paper until I have a layer that's thick enough to peel up and that I can manipulate a little bit without ripping it or ripping it off completely. I'm going to take some liquid foundation and just a makeup sponge and apply that to the liquid latex to make it blend in with the rest of my skin a little bit better and I'm also going to apply that all over my face um, on the not lizard areas and then on my not lizard eye I'm going to fill in my eyebrow a little bit and put some mascara on and I think I use a little bit of eyeliner here too. Uh, one tip for making the liquid latex blend in a little bit better, which I completely forgot about because I just recently learned it, is to powder the liquid latex first and then apply the foundation. It will make the foundation stick a little bit better and just blend everything in better. I don't do it in the video because I honestly just forgot about it. Next we're going to peel up our liquid latex skin a little bit and just peel it up about halfway. If you peel it up too far it can come off completely and then you have to redo the whole section. I had to do that like two or three times because I did film this video I think a total of three times before I got a cut that I liked. So go ahead and peel that up very carefully. You can get the liquid latex close to your hairline and you can get it in your hair. However, don't peel that section up. The only way to get it out without ripping your hair out is to use makeup remover and just go over that area. So if you do get it in your hair, don't freak out. Just try not to rip that section up and just use some makeup remover to get it out of your hair without pulling any hair out. And then I'm also going to take my tweezers and rip the edges a little bit to make it look a little more jagged and like it was actually torn off. Now I'm taking my Makeup Forever Flash Palette and using the black and the green and mixing them together to make a very dark green color and applying that inside of the peeled skin. If you do get it on the edges of the skin, it's not the end of the world because we're just going to cover a lot of that up with fake blood anyway and I am kind of messy and end up getting it everywhere. So the Flash Palette is a very expensive palette so you can alternatively just get face paint from um, like even Walmart and stuff in the costume section at this time of year has a lot of face paint and I know like Party City and the Halloween stores that come up seasonally will also have palettes with like a few different colors that you can mix to get a similar color. So I'm just applying this all over even onto my eyelid and making sure to cover up my eyebrow really well. I didn't need to like glue stick cover my eyebrow just because it is a dark color so it'll blend in well. No matter what happens, we're gonna all stay together. So I'm taking my Coastal Scents Prism Palette in these two green colors and I'm using that to set the face paint. It's not super necessary because you will set it a lot when you add your scales, but I learned that I have a lot of creases when I did this tutorial and so I just want to keep those from creasing in the meantime. So I'm taking a shimmery green eyeshadow and I'm just going to apply this 
to my lid. It doesn't have to be super clean just to give it a little bit lighter of an effect near my eye. And then after that, I'm going to be applying a black eyeliner to my waterline and my tight line. And then I'm going to smudge a thicker line on my upper lash line as well and wing it out just a little bit to give myself kind of a lizardy shaped eyes. So I'm going to take a pair of fishnets that I cut the toe off of, and this is going to be really, really stupid, but I promise you this is the best way to have it stay in the same spot and not move around on you when you put the eyeshadow over. So I'm taking a NYX pigment, it's like a brighter jade green color, and just a doe foot shaped brush and dabbing that over the fishnet, and this is going to make the scale shape. Then you can very carefully remove that and you do want to be careful to pull it away from the face paint or else you can smudge it and then uh, touch up any areas where you messed up and smeared the green with your foundation but like I said that's not important because we are going to use a lot of fake blood to cover up that area the fake blood that we're using is just blood scab this will dry so it won't be so sticky and messy the entire night if you wear this out and I'm just taking a q-tip and I'm making sure to put that around the edges where it's peeled up and then once I'm finished with that I'm taking the same makeup sponge that I used to apply my foundation because we don't want to use a new one if we don't need to and I'm just dabbing it all over and I wasn't going to use this much blood but if it was ripped off you probably would be having a lot of bleeding and then on top of that can also cover up the mistakes that I made because I was kind of messy when I did this so I'm just dabbing that around the fake skin areas also and after that you are completely finished so I hope you guys enjoy this um, let me know if you try it out because I would love to see pictures and I will talk to you guys later bye